They use their media to assassinate real news. They use their schools to teach children that their president is another Hitler. They use their movie stars and singers and comedy shows and award shows to repeat their narrative over and over again. And then they use their ex-president to endorse the resistance, all to make them march, make them protest. Peace, quiet, and good order will be maintained in our city to the best of our ability. Riots, melees, and disturbances of the peace are against the interest of all our people and therefore cannot be permitted. Scream racism and... Oh, yes, sir. It was terrible. They were marching up and down, and making faces at all the white people, flirting with the women. And sexism and xenophobia and homophobia to smash windows, burn cars, shut down interstates and airports. It was clean the mess that was made by these people. Was there excrement dung in, in, in silverware and dish trays and what have you? Sir, I couldn't begin to tell you. It took me three hours to clean it. And then it wasn't clean. There was ashes in a pickle bucket. That's why I decided to launch my Take Back America tour across this great country. I'll be coming to a city near you singing inspirational songs filled with traditional values. The Lord loves the NRA. He told me so the other day. He spelled it out in bullets in the sky. He's sitting up in heaven with his AK-47. He's a rough and ready, macho kind of guy. Yeah. Bully and terrorize the law abiding until the only option left is for the police to do their jobs and stop the madness. I heard one man, and I'm very happy to tell you that he was a Klansman, walk up to a policeman and he said, when you go home tonight, I want to ask you if you agree with this, Ms. Matters. He said, when you go home tonight, get down on your knees in front of your wife and apologize to her for marrying a dirty yellow cur instead of a white man. And when that happens, they'll use it as an excuse for their outrage. The only way we stop this, the only way we save our country and our freedom. I'm for pure Americanism. White supremacy! Listen to me, Americans. America for Americans. Excuse me, Mr. Negro, but I'd like to ask you a question. What's so bad about the back of the bus? You still got a seat like the rest of us. I don't understand all the fuss about you sitting in the back of the bus. And our freedom. Keep our schools white. Keep them white. That's right. Keep them white. I'm against Catholic. Hallelujah, man. Hallelujah. Against Jews. Hallelujah. 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 Against niggers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Against niggers. Hallelujah. Is to fight this violence of lies with the clenched fist of truth. I'm the National Rifle Association of America, and I'm freedom's safest place. That one. Let's get that black boy before he marries my daughter. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! They never ate or housed with Negroes, and they don't intend to begin now, even if a communist Congress passes 50 civil rights bills. Every Klan member, male and female, will die fighting before these Washington traitors can enslave the white race. Question. The Ku Klux Klan saw American Jew communism in action with Khrushchev Gestapo police ready to kill protesting white men instead of rioting niggers. All talk and no do is neither a good offense or defense. Question. Where were you ladies of the United Daughters of the Confederacy and why aren't you making ready to march on the city hall right now to demand Ivan Allen's and Sam Massell's resignation? Your house needs to be put in order too. 
you ladies honor your grandmothers as daughters of the War of 1865 and disown them as daughters of the Reconstruction of 1866? In love and affection, the clan says to you, take off your long white gloves and grab your sewing needles as did your glorious grandmothers. Be sure to catch Darlene in these cities on her upcoming tour. Laramie, Dallas, Little Rock, Amarillo, Topeka, Rapid City, Des Moines, Duluth, and Paducah. Taking back America with you. Remember, folks, it is not too late to give this great country of ours a fresh coat of white paint. And you heard that from me, Darlene McBride. Bye-bye now.